Hi, this is Umar Ahmed for RFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm in the BT Sports studio today, the start of uh, the media tour for Wilder Fury. I'm joined by Luda Bell. I'm looking forward to this one. I mean, <laughs> not only as a pro, but as a fan. Of course. You know, I, I think that when you have two giants like this, two huge men at the top of their game, linear heavyweight champion in Fury, who I think is probably the most skilled boxer in the heavyweight division, pure boxer, against uh, pure power in the BC champion, Deontay Wilder. Um, the winner of this fight has a right to call themselves the best heavyweight in the world until they get the opportunity to, uh, to prove it against the third guy who's out there and didn't want to fight these two guys. These two guys were fighting each other because they want to. And to have two of the best heavyweights in the world fighting each other to establish supremacy the winner of this fight, like I said, uh, on the dais, I believe, will be the best heavyweight on the planet until proven otherwise. And for boxing fans, the heavyweight division is a little bit different. You know, it's still the you know the, the giants, the big men, the heavyweight champion of the world, used to be the most significant athlete on the planet. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, on December one, we're going to establish uh, a guy that's going to be able to go out there and say, "I am the best," until you prove me wrong. Yeah. We heard in the press today, you and Shelley, like sort of saying how much respect you have for Tyson for taking this fight after his comeback. Yeah, how much respect do you have for Tyson for? I have tremendous respect for Tyson in a general sense too. I mean, he's he's been through hell and back personally. He's made mistakes. He's had problems and demons, and 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 I respect the fact he's gone and out there and become an advocate for mental health care and for mm. you know and for you know doing what you need to do to get yourself right. And and where he's come over the last 12 months and what he's done in the last six months, the, the, the physical condition he's in now, the, the mental condition that he's in now, and, and, and literally changing you know, his life and getting himself back to the top of his game, um, you have to respect that. And, and I do respect that. I, and i got to tell the truth, I like the guy. And I'm still like him after he gets knocked out. <laughs> in terms of showtime, how excited are they putting this fight on? They're thrilled, man, because they've been along for the ride with Deontay from the beginning, and they've helped build Deontay into the, what he is in the States, and, uh, you know, uh, a star and the heavyweight champion. And, and um, Showtime and, and Espinosa, they've been waiting for a defining fight, the same way Deontay and the whole team, mm. we've been waiting for the, a defining fight. And what Fury did here with his willingness to challenge himself and fight the best um, this quickly in his comeback, um, he's giving the fans, he's giving Showtime, he's giving, you know, the, the BT Sport, he's giving the boxing industry the chance to see two great heavyweights get it on to establish who the best guy is. Yeah. This is what it's all about, man. Mm. Like, the best fighting the best. If we can't make these kind of fights, our sport can never regain, you know, the grandeur it once had. Totally, I think you're needed. We'll, we'll come right. back to just picking this back up with Luda Bella. Yeah, how's it been working with Frank Warren in this fight? I, I know Frank since I'm a kid. I mean, we go back... I mean, I literally since my beginnings in boxing, which are nearly 30 years ago. So, um, I enjoy working with Frank, and George is a, a good kid. I'm, it's good to work with George Warren also. And, and, and um, you know, like I said, Shelley, when we started these conversations... Um, I, I had a feeling that, the, well, I always believed, frankly, seeing the unwillingness of others to fight Deontay, I always believed that Wilder Fury um, would be the next major fight for Deontay. And um, it, it did not take the team very long and, and Frank and, and Shelley very long to get this deal done. I mean, once it was determined that, that Fury and Wilder wanted to fight each other, there wasn't rocket scientists science to making this deal mm. and, it, and it wasn't a long ordeal and and generally making a fight is not a long ordeal if the teams involved and the fighters involved want to fight the reason the other negotiations lasted forever and didn't happen is because people weren't ready to fight Wilder's ready to fight Fury Fury's ready to fight Wilder on December 1 the world of boxing, the international boxing world, the American boxing world, the British boxing world, the boxing world is going to have a heavyweight king. Yeah. And, and that's what this fight means. This fight is very significant. And the winner of this fight has a right to say, I'm the best. Lots of rival promoters, fighters in the industry, just people in boxing doubted this fight would happen. Why do you think that is? Um, I don't know, man. It's easy in boxing to doubt everything. <laughs> um, but as you see, this fight is happening. 
Um, and, and I'll tell you, um, it's it, it's it, it says a lot about both fighters that it's happening. You know, De Deontay didn't doesn't have to fight Fury. He could have fought someone who was an easier touch, but he knows that his legacy depends on being able to win fights of this kind of magnitude, mm. and he's been deprived of these type of opportunities. Mm. You know, people say, oh, Fury, Fury's being foolish, he's only come back six months ago in the ring, uh, a year ago he was enormous and he had all the problems he had, he's re been reinstated lately. No, he's a champion. He has the mindset of a champion. He believes he beats Deontay Wilder and he wanted this fight. And credit to him and credit to to his team for getting getting to the table with an attempt on making a deal. And once both sides intended on making a deal, a deal happened pretty quickly. Um, you know, when people want to get stuff done, it gets done. And, and that, this fight's a product of that.